You can take your fuck. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. Okay, so nail time. Today's activity is going to be nails. Um, I'm really lucky that my sister actually had all of this stuff already. She has. Is that me or you? I guess it's... So. so she has jewels. She has ribbons. She has every single type of color with the little paintbrushes. So I'm really excited to be doing all this stuff. I'm going to start by. Yep, this is good. I'm going to start by putting. I'm gonna start by putting sunscreen on my hands because if you guys watch my Instagram, you know that I try my best to do this every single time I gel up my nails. Toledo, come on. So I actually have a whole board of nail inspiration on my Pinterest. I will link it somewhere and show you guys some of the stuff that I really, really like. I pretty much just look up nail art on Pinterest and then pin a bunch of stuff and then eventually like your algorithm obviously starts recommending you things. I think it'll be really fun to either do this little daisy thing. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but so cute. Or I could do happy faces. Oh, these are so cute. But that'd be so fun. I could do something different on every nail. I could do flames, like pink flames. The thing is like, if you're not good at drawing, flames can just look like blobs. My sister also has so many little glitters. I want to flip this onto my, my nail cam situation and show you guys. I'm gonna just do the base coat first. Um, I actually have a more, I guess, in-depth tutorial on how I managed to do all this on my Instagram. So I'm gonna link that highlight somewhere or I'm gonna link my Instagram and then just click on the nails highlight. But I'm thinking about making this into like an IGTV as well because a lot of you guys have been asking me about nail art and how I do it. Also, people ask me how you take this stuff off. You can either soak your nails in acetone and then start like using like um, one of those nail sticks to start like peeling it off. Or if you're bad like me, you can just peel it off without anything. If you're not super, um, if your nails don't have a lot of traction, like if you're not using like a grit to go all over your nail, it's just a lot more peelable, obviously. And I don't like to sand my nail down too much because it's just not, it's just damaging and I'm not going anywhere. Don't need these to last like five weeks. So one thing that's very trendy in the nail world right now is like ombre nails and not like the type that you sponge paint. Like basically you just paint a different color on every nail that's like a slight gradient. So I think I'm gonna play around with like pinks to nudes. And these all seem like they're in a similar color family. So we're gonna start with pink on the thumb and work our way to making this beautiful rainbow of pink. So I want to show you guys how to paint a nail even when your nails are small like mine because I noticed a lot of people have been doing their own nails lately. And it's something I've been doing for a really long time because I don't want to spend like money every two weeks to get my nails color changed or painted or whatever. And it's really easy to do at home. So basically, um, I'm sure other people have better tutorials on this, but the key is just not to flood the cuticle. So your brush already makes a really nice natural line to start. And the key is not having too much paint on your brush, starting in the middle and not going all the way to the end of your cuticle. So you wanna start it just a small smidge right above. And so it looks streaky right now. After you cure it, it'll be less streaky. And then cause this color is so light, um, once you put on the second coat, it'll actually look a lot more solid. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do jewels, at least on this index finger. I don't know if we're gonna mix it up for all of them, but I'm so happy with the way the ombre turned out. I think it's really pretty. So there's like an assorted amount of sizing here. So what you basically do is you put top coat on your nail first and you don't cure it because this is gonna be like the sticking layer for the jewels. You don't need a ton, you just need some. You can take your, fuck, take your tweezers and then you just place them on in like a random order. It's already looking cute. So this is kind of like the inspo pick. I'm gonna shoot it up right here, show you guys. And it looks really cute with like a clear coat as well. Like that, so pretty. This nail looks super cute. I already put top coat on it to seal it as well once I placed them and cured them and 
did all that fun stuff so this one's looking really fun i'm thinking on this one or the thumb i can't decide yet but i guess i'll decide when i hmm probably actually hmm i actually don't know it has to be one of the darker nails because i want to try to do the daisies I'm thinking the thumb because there's more surface area. I've never done this before, so hopefully this is gonna look good, but we're taking this white kind of gel paint and it always turns out better with this type of, like the actual like nail art paint rather than just using white nail polish. Cause I do have white nail polish because this is a little bit thicker, so it's easier to build. My sister got all this stuff off of Amazon. Okay guys, so the camera died, but the brushes actually didn't work. We have like the back of this little hook thing. So I think this will be better because it's easier to make the flowers more uniform. No, no, this is good. No, no, because I used the big one and it worked. So for the flowers, basically you are just going to want to dot it in like almost like a star formation of five and then just take like a needle or like a safety pin or something and start dragging the paint so they connect and that way it looks like one continuous flower. So I finally got it after a lot of trial and error. Look how cute! Focus camera. There you go guys, look, a beautiful floral arrangement. Now let's cure it before it's too late. And then we're gonna add the dots to the center, which are going to be yellow. Flowers or eggs, everyone? You decide. I'm not really gonna do this for all five nails. I think on the third one, we're gonna do these little like reflective stars. Sarah's done this on her nails at like an actual salon and it's looked really cute. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do them in the white. I feel like it'll look nice in the white, so let's get it done. Okay, for this star, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. It literally took me an hour to do, but honestly, the less paint, the better. You're basically going to be making like arch shapes all connecting to one another by dragging the paint in. Um, it's honestly more straightforward in the diagram here, but the great thing about gel polish is that you can wipe it off and start again as long as you haven't cured it already so this one is really just a lot of practice and then mimicking your inspo pick it's been one hour got three nails down honestly just deciding what to do i find really hard so i think we need an accent nail over here and i think it's going to be leopard because i can imagine this looking really good so it just seems like they use black as like the surrounding and then in the middle they have like a cutie color and i think that the thing is, like, I don't have a lot of nails, so like, I like, I think you need a larger nail bed to really make this work. This just looks so cute. That's gonna kill the vibe, won't it? Okay, I'm gonna do a regular neutral leopard. For the leopard, honestly, guys, I thought this wasn't gonna work, but it turned out so cute. You're basically gonna want to make little surrounding squiggles facing each other and just make them super random and um, do them in a darker color. And then you're going to fill them in with a lighter color with just another little smudge or dot. The less uniform they look, the better. So on this side, I'm going to exercise self-control and just leave the pinky bare because I think that these all look really, really cute together. Okay, so this just looks so good. So this literally took me an hour, so we're obviously just going to leave this as is. I'm just shocked that the leopard really actually looks like leopard because I feel like that's one of those things that could really go awry. Maybe I'll do my nails like all like this one day because I think that looks really cute. This side, I'm just going to wing it, probably do alternate designs and stuff. I'm gonna speed up this side and I'll show you guys the final result. Let's go. Guys, this is the final look. So I did Daisy. Let's do this real fast. Daisy, Jewels, Star, Leopard, Plain, Clouds, Plain, Leopard, Jewels, Baby Flower Jewel. This is what they look like. And I have more photos if you guys want like inspo photos for when you guys do your nail art. But loving this neutral color scheme. It also matches my workout gear. Okay guys, this was originally supposed to be part of a weekly vlog, which is still going up. But instead I changed the concept to like five days of crafts and I had enough crafts. So I felt like this could stand alone as its own video. But if you like any nail art, let me know if you guys want to see more. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Be safe. But I really want to tell you that. Oh.